Hi, everybody. I'm Louise Duart. Thank you. I just heard something that's really hard to believe about one of the famous people who shop along the street. Sting was once a teacher in a girl's convent school. Would that be true? Well, we'll find out on the street of stunning stores and stories where the glitter meets the dirt. Rodeo Drive! And hoping to stroll down Rodeo Drive today are, from Australia, Helen Darbal. Everybody. Well, let me tell you, Midori, you are back again. And yesterday you won over forty-eight hundred dollars in cash and prizes. You got to walk down our day. Who knows? You might do it again today. But Midori, tell us a little something about yourself. Well, I'm from Iowa, and I'm a dancer and a choreographer, and I teach performance arts to children. Oh, and the little guys. Good for you. Great, Brian. How about you? Well, I'm. Um... From Cyprus, Orange County, California, and I'm married. I have two children, and I'm an industrial sales rep. You're an industri industrial sales rep. Uh, I sell equipment that makes the little codes on the products in the grocery stores, the barcodes. Oh, those things. Those things. Oh, so you're the one to blame. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here anyway, Brian. <laughs> How about you, Helen? I'm originally from Australia. Um, now, then I went to New York, worked at the UN for several years. I came to LA, and for a while I worked for Zsa Zsa Gabor. You work for Zsa Zsa Gabor, darling? Yes. How did you do for her? I looked after the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> how are the dogs, darling? I can't sleep because I don't know how the dogs are doing. Are they doing all right? Good, I'm so glad. Oh, thanks God the dogs are all right and the dogs are fine. All right. <laughs> Remember, I said this was the place where the glitter meets the dirt, and it's true, right, Helen? As a matter of fact, the more you know about the dirt, the better chance you'll have at getting the glitter. And you'll see what I mean right here in round one. Here's how it works. At Midori, we have a board numbered from one to seven. Next to each number is a concealed word associated with Walt Disney and a concealed amount of points. Now, Midori, you pick a number, and we'll reveal that word to your two opponents and to the audience. Go ahead. Tip. The word is mouse for Mickey Mouse. Okay, Brian, Helen, take a look at the word. You decide whether Majority's going to say that word in a 15-second gossip spree about Walt Disney. Okay, if you're right, I'll give you 50 points. Now, if at any time you say that word, Majority, we'll stop award the points. That word is worth anywhere from 100 to 250 points, depending on how likely we think you are to say it. Okay, in 15 seconds, tell me all the gossip you know about Walt Disney. Go. He's dead at Disneyland. Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Pluto. That's it. Mouse is the word. Let's see how much that word was worth. A hundred points. Good for you. That's the way to play the game. All right, let's take a look at the other words on the list. Disneyland, of course, we know what that's all about. Duck, uh, Donald Duck cartoons, Disney World, and mustache, which he had, and that wonderful park that we all know and love. Okay, now, Brian, you thought you was going to say it. Good for you. We're going to give you 50 points for that. Yeah. Well, Helen, Jaja's best friend, but I'm going to give you 50 points for that, darling. You did wonderful. Okay, Brian, now it's your turn to do a little bit of gossiping. Pick a number from one to seven, a word associated with Ted Danson. Six. The word is Sam for his character in Cheers. Okay, Majori, Helen, take a look at the word. Decide if Brian's going to say that word. Punch in. Okay, Brian, in 15 seconds, tell us everything you know about Ted Danson. Go. Actor, star of NBC's Cheers. He was in Jack Lemmon. Uh, he was with Jack Lemmon in, in the movie Dad. He was in uh, Three Men and a Baby. Uh, he uh, appeared with Shelley Long on Cheers. Uh, he is uh, um, an activist for um, the uh, homeless, I believe. Uh, oh, you didn't say the word. The word was Sam. Let's see how much that word was worth. That was worth 200 points. 
But to ease the pain, Brian, we're going to give you five points to every word on the list that you did say. Let's take a look at the list. You said Cheers, of course, which he's the star of. Dad, which was one of his uh, movies. Lemon, Jack Lemon, which he started. And Baby, Two Men and a Baby, or Three Men and a Baby, whatever it is. But that's, anyway, you got four of them, and that's 20 points. That's going to bring your score up to 70. Hey, Majora, you thought that Brian was going to say it. I'm sorry, we can't award you any points for that. And Helen, you had all the faith in the world. You said, yes, indeed, he's going to say it, but he didn't. So we can't give you any points. But, Helen, it's your turn now to do a little bit of gossiping. Pick a number from 1 to 7, a word associated with Liza Minnelli. 4. The word is eyes for her most prominent feature. Okay, Brian, Majora, take a look at the word. Hey, decided she's going to say it. Helen, in 15 seconds, tell us everything you know about Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli won an Oscar for Cabaret. She's the daughter of Judy Garland uh, and um, uh, Minnelli. <laughs> and um, let's see, she uh, was in um, Chicago. She's a dancer, she's a singer, she's straight black hair, uh, big black eyes, eyebrows. Eyes is the word! Good for you, eyes is it! Let's see how much that word was worth. 170, and Helen, you got that right under the wire. That was a close one. That's the rule. If you get it in before the buzzer, you've got it. That brings your total up to 220 points. And by the way, let's take a look at the other words on the board. Garland, Judy Garland, Cabaret, which she is, wonderful singer, and of course those eyes. Arthur, which the movie she was in, Vincent Minnelli, her father, and Oscar, which she won. Okay, now, Midori, you didn't think she was going to say it. But I'm happy for her. Well, I, <laughs> you're so cute, though, and I, but I can't give you any points for that. I'm That's sorry. Okay. Ryan, you didn't think she was going to say it either, so I can't give you any points. All right, and now, let me tell you guys, this is the end of round one. Let's recap our scores. We have Brian in third place, Midori in second, Helen in first, and we'll be right back for round two on Rodeo Drive right after this. You'll notice everyone is seated in the order they finished the first round with Helen first, Midori second, Brian third. Now in the first round we saw how well you could dish the dirt. Now we want to see how good you are at evaluating it. Helen, we're going to start with you. I'm going to read you a series of statements, some of which are fact, meaning true, some of which are empty rumor, meaning false. You simply tell me which is which. Each time you're right, I'll award you 100 points and I'll keep reading you statements until you're wrong. When you do that, we'll move over to Midori and give her a chance. When she's wrong, or if she's wrong, then we move over to Brian. We're going to give him a chance, and we'll keep doing this until seven minutes are up. Whoever has the most points at the end of that game wins the game, $500, and the chance to do some window shopping and eavesdropping on Rodeo Drive for thousands of dollars in cash and prizes. Okay, here we go. Helen, fact or rumor, Liz Taylor's 24 karat gold dress in Cleopatra was the most expensive costume in movie history. Fact. No, that is a rumor. <laughs> that was only $6,500. Ginger Rogers' mink and sequin outfit in Lady in the Dark cost $35,000. All right, Midori with 100 points. Madonna's face is on a Grenada postage stamp. Fact. Yes, it is. <laughs> a 75-cent stamp. Mr. Rogers was once a lounge singer. Fact. No, that's a rumor. <laughs> Brian, here you go with 70 points. Woody Allen graduated from Brooklyn College with a degree in philosophy. That's a fact. No, that is a rumor. You only spent one semester at New York University, and I don't know what his major was. But Helen, you have 220 points. Donald Trump has 210 telephones on his yacht. Fact. Yes, it is. Yeah. Back to a rumor, Elton John's face is on a Grenada postage stamp. Fact. 
Yes, a dollar stamp. <laughs> Absolutely right. Robert Mitchum flunked his drama class in college for putting his professor to sleep. Fact. No, that's a rumor. <laughs> He's not going to be happy you said that, but it is a rumor. <laughs> Maduro, you've got 200 points. During the 1988 campaign, Dan Quayle once referred to his running mate as George the Bush. <gasps> oh, I'll say rumor. No, that's a fact. <laughs> Brain the size of a Tic Tac, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you've got 70 points. ABC correspondent Sam Donaldson was once offered the part of Dracula. A rumor. That is a rumor. <laughs> 170 points. Bob Hope is an honorary... Bob Hope is an honorary major general in the U.S. Army. Rumor. That is a rumor. That is a rumor. Charlie Sheen says he has never been to a dentist, doctor, or a shrink. That's a rumor. That is a rumor. 370 points. Dweezil Zappa. Dweezil Zappa is named after his sister's pet, Gerbil. Rumor. Rumor! You're getting up there. You're in the lead right now. 470 points. Jim Henson never played with puppets as a child. Rumor. No, that's a fact. In high school, Pierre, the French rat, was his first puppet. All right, Helen, back to you at 420 points. When Peter Jennings reports the nightly news, he frequently doesn't wear pants. Rumor. Darn, it is a rumor. <laughs> Once during an early Marx Brothers stage performance, the entire audience left the theater to catch an escaped mule. Oh, uh, fact. Yes, that is a fact. Oh, the lucky guess. You don't have that up. Upon his death, Mick Jagger has donated his lips to medical research. Rumor. <laughs> That's a rumor. Uh. Billy Graham was expelled from high school for telling dirty jokes. Rumor. Rumor. 820 points. Pat Sajak and Vanna White are being immortalized in the Hollywood Max Wax Museum. Fact. No, that's a rumor. That is a rumor. Okay, Midori, back to you with 200 points. This is our opening little tidbit. You remember this little one? Sting was once a teacher in a girls' convent school. Fact. Yes, that is a fact. He also, no, this is interesting, this is, he also was a bassist on Princess Cruises and the Ronnie Pearson Trio. This guy's done everything. Okay, now fact or rumor, Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor loved to punch cattle. Rumor. That's a fact! Oh, oh, we want to know. She, it's true, though. It, she said, as far as I'm concerned, the best place to be is on a good cutting horse working cattle. Hey, I feel the same way. You know how that is. All right, Brian, 470 points. Donny Osmond was a member of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Rumor. Rumor. It's a close game. Oh, did you hear the bell, guys? You know what that means? Two minutes left in the game, so we're going to get rolling now. Rod McEwen won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1975. Rumor. Rumor. Neil Diamond went to college on a fencing scholarship. Rumor. No, that's a fact. Back to you, Helen. 820 points you've got. Mikhail Baryshnikov was a semi-pro soccer player. Rumor. That is a rumor. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman bought the 1949 Buick Roadmaster that he and Tom Cruise took cross uh, country in Rain Man. Fact. Yes, it is a fact. <laughs> Goldie Hawn said that her tennis teacher calls her Cinderella because she keeps running away from the ball. Fact. No, it's a rumor. <laughs> Majority back to you, 300 points. Tom Hanks was born in South Africa. Rumor. That is a rumor. Joan Collins' dog once bit Linda Evans. Rumor. Rumor. <laughs> Gary Cooper took his first name from his agent's hometown, Gary, Indiana. Fact. Fact. 
Very good. Mr. Green Jeans from the Captain Kangaroo Show is the father of rock star Tom Petty. Rumor. Rumor. <laughs> Astronaut John Glenn was the first person to ride on the Space Mountain roller coaster in Disneyland. Rumor. Rumor. <laughs> Tom Selleck once taught synchronized swimming to a Girl Scout troop. Rumor. That is a rumor. <laughs> Harrison Ford was once a Hare Krishna. Rumor. Yes. <laughs> you have 30 seconds left. John Wayne once appeared on television in a bunny suit. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm laughing. <laughs> Arsenio Hall was the second string shortstop for the University of DePaul baseball team. Rumor. Rumor. <laughs> Lonnie Anderson was born in Stockholm, Sweden. Rumor. Rumor. <laughs> Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman were married during a lunch break while filming Taxi. Fact. Yes, that is a fact. <laughs> Great, Helen, you did a fabulous job. That was a close game. Brian, wonderful. We have some great party gifts for you backstage. Majority, come on over here. Woo! Woo! Here you do it again. Good for you. Boy, you get cooking, don't you? And you've already won $500 in just a moment. You're going to try to win everything in the shop windows of Rodeo Drive, plus the money that's currently deposited in the bank. Right now, there's $1,000 just sitting there waiting for you. But I'm going to give you a chance to deposit even more money in that bank. Here's how. I'm going to ask you a series of five questions with each one. <laughs> I'll ask you to make a choice between two names. Sometimes the correct answer will be one or the other of those names, and sometimes the answer will be both. Every time you're right, we'll deposit another $200 into the bank of Rodeo Drive. All right, now here's your first question. George Harrison and Paul McCartney, which Beatle played the guitar left-handed? McCartney? Yes, $200. <laughs> Jessica Lange and Dustin Hoffman, who won an Oscar for their performance in Tootsie? Tootsie, um... <laughs> oh. No, Jessica Lang. All right, third question, Lyndon Johnson and Gerald Ford. Who won a presidential election? Lyndon Johnson. Yes, correct. Fourth question, James Stewart and Cary Grant. Who starred in Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest? Cary Grant. That is correct. That's, that's your $600 so far. This is your last question. Jeff Bridges and Lloyd Bridges, who appeared in the movie Tucker? Jeff Bridges? Both. Oh! But that's all right. You got three right for 600 additional dollars that will be deposited in the bank of those damn lives. And when we come back, we're going to give you a shot at winning everything on the street, plus for the stores, plus the cash in the bank as we go window shopping and eavesdropping on Rodeo Drive. Don't go away. The single scene. Fast. Flashy. Yeah. All right, Majori, come on, let's go stroll down Rodeo Drive. Okay, you've been here before, you see four shops in the bank. Let's take a look and see what's inside the shop. Today in the gift shop, Landon's five-piece silver coffee and tea set with matching serving tray from their Maestri collection. Crafted in heavy silver plated design and contemporary elegance, furnished by Landon's. In the jewelry store today, we have a jewel Jurgensen Ladies Quartz Watch, which is styled in a 14-karat gold round case with sculptured bezel and genuine leather strap accented with a champagne dial and black sapphire crown. Quality in time since 1740 from Jules Jurgensen. The electronic store gives you Sharp's VHS forehead video cassette recorder featuring 49 function remote control, noiseless special effects playback, and on-screen display. In the home shop today, we have Martin Lawrence Gallery's beautiful limited edition serograph, After the Rain. It's numbered and hand-signed by Leo Pacifico at Martin Lawrence Gallery throughout the United States. And the bank, which today contains $1,000, plus the $600 you deposited today for a total of $1,600. Great. All right, here's what happens. The game is played in 60 seconds. You stand here at the first store. As soon as the clock starts, you're going to overhear some gossiping. If you can guess who's being gossiped about, you go on to the next shop. 
If you get through all four shops plus the bank, you win the money in the bank and everything that's on Rodeo Drive today. Okay, take a deep breath. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. He just seems so serious. Practically all of his movies are adventure stories or dramas. Although I guess he tried to change that image by hosting Saturday Night Live once. But being president of the Screen Actors Guild is serious business. Oh. Plus, he had to keep a straight face in all the disaster Reagan? movies like Earthquake and Two Minute oh, Warning. Oh, oh, I know. This and you I can't get more serious than playing Moses in the Ten Commandments. I know. I could probably lose my yeah. In my book, she's still one of the most beautiful women in the world. I wonder if she and Elvis ever really got together. Priscilla Presley. I know that she was his co-star in Viva Las oh, Vegas. Oh, oh, oh. And with those Swedish looks and red hair, she must have been I know, hard Anne to resist. Yeah. <laughs> sure that he didn't have an alligator guarding his money in an underground vault. And nobody could be 39 years old 40 years in a row. Nobody could be as cheap as they made him out to be. How are you? And I think he played the violin badly on purpose. Oh, oh, Jack, but Jack Kennedy. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Originally, he reminded me of Jack Kennedy. But these days in politics, you've got to be careful about your personal life. And he wasn't. Oh, he oh, oh, oh. I ran out. I'm sorry, Midori. Okay. Oh. But guess what? You'll get to pick one of the prizes you pass by when we come back right after this. The one you missed over there was Gary Hart, by the way. But I'll tell you what. You can pick one prize from any of the shops that you pass by. What's it going to be? It's the VCR. Yeah, oh, the VCR is great. So with the VCR and the $500 you received earlier, plus your previous game winning, means you've won over $6,500 in cash and prizes. And of course, you're going to be back next time. And who knows? It could be you who once again goes strolling down Rodeo Drive. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. participants may receive the following. Cream S. Great ways to please with pasta and cheese. These delicious recipes in current women's magazines. Doesn't your recipe deserve Cream S? Bassett's new concept bedroom set with its smooth lines and oak finish includes a double dresser with a round mirror, a six-drawer chest, panel headboard, and two nightstands furnished by Bassett Furniture. The Dream Maker from Bassett gives just the right combination of firm support and soothing softness. Covered with golden glow satin fabric for exotic elegance. Dream maker from Bassett. Rodeo Drive is a Jay Wolford production.